I've been doing a little bit of shopping come winter time and autumn. I figured I'd do a little bit of a haul just to show you guys what a couple of things I bought and what I'm really excited to try out for this year. Um, so I went to a couple stores. So I went to Lush, um, Sephora of course, as well as David Steve. So I'm going to start with the Sephora stuff. Um, some of the stuff I got for my kit for when I do photo shoots and then some of the stuff I got for myself. Um, so I'm going to start off with the skincare stuff I got. So I've actually opened this and I'm using one of them right now. But this is Sephora's Clean Machine Kojiak Sponge Duo in the Polish Me Charcoal and Ly Lycopene, Lycopene I think is something like that. Um, and I fell in love with the Bosha Kojiak sponges and so when I saw these I got super excited and I'm still really excited to try them out. Um, I actually did a blog post on my blog. Um, I'll put the link cap right here or something like that where I talk a little bit about this. Um, but I'm going to pre pretty much just be comparing both of them as well as I think there's another Kojiak sponge from Sage. So I'll be kind of going through all three of them and see which one I like the best. Um, there might be actually a fourth one I'll be trying out, but anyways, the Kojiak sponges are beautiful. Um, all of them that I've tried so far, I love. They work so nicely. They feel so great. Um, but stay tuned for the full review where I can fully talk about that. Um, and then I just got makeup remover just because I'm almost out of the one I'm using right now. And I figured why not grab it while I was there and buying stuff. Because um, it works so amazing. Like, it takes up everything. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Um, and then for a couple products for my kit that I bought, I bought um, NARS Crystal Translucent Powder. This is what I'm wearing on my face, and I love it. Um, it just kind of makes everything matte. I don't feel like I'm putting a lot on. It just absorbs any extra oils or products like that, but it makes it really nice for when you're taking photos um, because it reflects light nicely without making you have a white cast or look orange. Um, and then I also got from Bobbi Brown. We actually stopped carrying this in my store, but I held on and kind of snuck away and hid this one until I could um, have the extra money to buy it. But this is the Calypso Coral Number no. 2 Lip and Cheek Rouge from Bobbi Brown, and I love this color. It's just like a really nice coral color. It's actually what it's on, on what it's on my cheeks. I'm not wearing a lot of blush right now, but that is the color that I have. It's just a really nice flush, and it looks really great on the lips as well. And then I also grabbed the Bobbi Brown Lipstick in Sandwash Pink. Um, it's just like a really nice color. That's what I have on my lips with a purple liner underneath of it. Um, and it's just the most requested kind of lipstick that I found right now because it's very similar to the Kylie Jenner nude look. Um, and that's everyone's wanting that right now. Um, so I picked it up because I know a lot of people would be wanting it for when I was doing makeup for them, um, especially brides. It looks really nice on. Um, yeah, so I grabbed that one just because I figured I'd get a lot of use out of it. As well, I got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Sin. I grabbed this just because it's super easy to use. So if I'm running late, then I can just put that on, do a quick wing liner, and then run out the door. Um, it doesn't take a lot of effort or time to just look really nice and have a little bit more of a polished lid than just having it plain. Um, so that's kind of mainly what I've got for Sephora. Um, but I'm really excited about all of them. They all should be really useful and helpful throughout the year as well as in my kit as well as for myself. Um, so yeah, that's for Sephora. So next place I went to is David's Tea. David's Tea is actually right across from my store, so it's really convenient and really nice to go to and a really have easy place to shop just when you're done the day, you want to kind of look at some nice teas, get something to drink maybe. Um, so I went there um, and I just got a couple of things just because I was bored and I was just wanting to see what they had for the winter collection. Um, so the first thing I got was their... The per for, was one of their perfect tea mugs in the color changing one. Um, I got the color changing one last year, which was the trees, and I love it. Um, and so I decided to get this one, and they go from these really kind of nice blue ones, blue candy canes, to red candy canes, I believe. I haven't warmed it up and, and seen what they look like. Here, I'm just going to grab the cup up so I can show y'all. Um, I haven't actually seen it, really. <laughs> um... So they're really nice. I find that they work really great for the tea. They have the little catcher that comes with it, so it's super handy. Um, and I love tea. I'm really forgetful when it comes to tea, though. Um, like, I'll make a cup and then walk away and totally forget about it. But I like drinking them. So this is what it looks like. 
super cute. I love the kind of mint green, co green color to it. And it just has like the lid, lid that goes on as well. And all the candy canes will turn red when it gets hot. So really excited for that. Um, I also got another mug. So this is, they're like, they're, it's not their Nordic ones, but it's something like that. And it's their, maybe it's just called their extra large latte mug, but so cute. There are a couple winter ones that I was thinking about getting, but I figured I'd just get the blue one because then I could use it all year long, as well as I just like the color of this a lot. Um, yeah, so super excited. It is huge. Like... I don't even know what I put in here. Like, that's a lot of tea. It would be a tea that I really, really like. Maybe hot chocolate. That would be real good in this. I'm really obsessed with hot chocolate as well right now. So, super excited for that. Um, and then I also got um, this little sampler just for free just to try out. And it is an apple custard. So, kind of excited to try that out. Maybe I'll try that out after this video in my new cup. And then the last thing I got was, oops, this guy. Um, and... It's just a couple of their Christmas um, teas, new tea collection, um, as well as it comes with a 10 pack of tea filters, which I have the cups, so I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I guess just in case I have or have more company than just two people, then I'll use it. I also kind of wanted it just because it had this spoon. Um, it's a perfect tea, it just looks like this. But it's the perfect size for one serving of tea, so instead of using a tablespoon and getting too much or too little, um, it's the perfect size, that's just kind of the recommended one. So I figured it was kind of cute and I always wanted to try it, and since it came in the kit, I figured it was just an extra bonus. And then the teas that it came with are eggnog, which I haven't tried this one before, I don't think I tried it last year. Let's see, I'll just open them all just so I can tell you what they smell like. Um, and this one... So it's pretty cute. It has like little, oh, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like eggnog. It smells, I don't know, but my tummy's grumbling after smelling it. And it has cute little, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's like chocolate chips, but like white chocolate chips. So that should be really fun and nice to try out. And it's a Rubius cheap. Rubius, 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 Rubius tea. That's how you pronounce it. Rubius. Um, so I'm, I like those kind of teas. And then I got Sleigh Ride, and I'm pretty sure. No, I don't think I tried this one last year. I almost bought it, but I ended up going with Santa Secret last year. Um, and this one is a fruit infusion. And this one just smells so delicious. It has like apples in it, but spiciness. It looks like in the packaging, like it has little popcorns in it as well, as well as some nuts, some dried fruit. I'm just super excited for this. So many decisions. I totally forgot about these. And then the last one is Santa Secret, and I got this one last year. I think I might even have a little bit left over, but I figured why not grab it. And so this one actually has like, it's a black tea by the way, it has little candy canes inside. I don't know if I'll try and grab one. So like just a little candy cane kind of guy. So this will be perfect in my candy cane cup. So super excited. It smells really good. Love trying out the holiday collections and the holiday scents. Um, so yeah, that's all that I got from David's Tea. I totally forgot a tea. So this one is by David's Tea as well. It's Lao Chong Star? Lap Sang Chong Star. I don't know how to quite pronounce it, but this is actually, I got the girl last year. Pretty much I went to her and I was like, what is your least popular tea? And she kind of like laughed, but I was just really curious. So I want you to know what it was, and she said it was this one. Um, because it's quite a unique tea, it smells like smoked stuff. So it's really, like it doesn't smell like a tea. It's not sweet at all. It smells like smoked barbecue. That's legitimately how it smells like. I go and smell and ask for this one. Um, but I was talking to the girl and she was saying that what the kind of story behind it was that in China, back when there was like a big war, it was really hard to get tea because you had to wait for it, you had to first grow it, then you had to wait for it to dry nicely. And so what they started do, doing to speed up the process of drying the leaves was they'd start smoking it. And that created this kind of interesting smell and texture as well as taste. Um, just because they really miss that feeling of having tea. So they smoked it and it's people still try it out. Um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try it out as a tea, but the real reason I got it um, was another thing that the girl had suggested was 
using it in cooking. So I'm going to try it with like a type of meat and try and see if it's going to add, um, transfer that really nice smoked flavor onto the meat as well. Um, so like going to marinate a steak overnight or something like that or even put it in hamburgers um, and we'll try it out and see what that's like. So I'm super excited to play around with this. I just got a smaller bag just in, be just in case I turns out I don't know how to cook and I can't figure it out. I didn't want to get a few, uh, really big one. Um, so I'll keep you up to date, updated on recipes that I find that really work with this guy. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to try it. It's a really interesting and kind of weird tea but we'll see what happens. So I bought a couple of things from Lush. I got three bath bombs and then one mask. Um, so I have the what the, it says about the actual products just behind me. So if you see me squinting and reading, that's what it is. Um, so the first thing that I got I'm going to show you is the mask. So I got the BB Seaweed Mask. And this one is sounds really good. I've used it once and I really liked it the first time I used it. So it just looks like this. And mine was made by Kate. So thank you, Kate, for making my bath. Uh, my face mask. Um, so this one has seaweed in it, of course. It has about 7 pounds of seaweed in here, um, which is rich in nutrients, so that's super good for your skin. Also, it has a little bit of exfoliation in it, so it's going to help to uh, soft off any dead skin, but it's not harsh enough, so my skin that's a little bit sensitive to uh, ex manual exfoliations is going to not get sensitive or not get irritated by this, and I didn't notice it getting irritated the time I used it. As well, it just has rose oil in it, so the rose oil is going to help to... Um, improve skin's texture, um, which is going to be, which is really great for me right now because I'm breaking out a little bit on my chin. So it just really helps to kind of smooth it out as well as get any dead skin from when my acne is kind of healing. Um, so yeah, so that's the mask I got. I tried it once so far. I really like it. Um, and then the other product that I've tried before and that is a repurchase for me is the Ickle Baby Bot. So it just looks like this. And he's super cute. And this guy I got him because I've had, been having trouble getting to sleep, um, staying up later. I think one night I was up to like 5 a.m. even though I worked the next day at 10. Um, so just really hard time getting to sleep lately. But this one has lavender... Um, what does it say? Lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood. They're all really nice and calming and really relaxing. So I got him. Um, I'll probably be using him pretty soon just to soothe me. Um, and so the next one I got um, is great for winter time. This guy is the Butter Bear. So he just looks like this. And he's actually supposed to have a little cocoa nose, but it rubbed off. So he's, he's a Butter Bear without a nose. But that's okay. He's still cute. Um, and this one has shea butter, butter in it that is going to help with um, hydrating the skin, especially winter time when it gets really dry and cracked. This guy really is going to help with them. So super excited to try him out. Um, I don't usually have problems, problems with dryness over my body, but I do get it a lot on my hands and feet. So that should be nice just to soak. Um, and then the rest of the body, I mean, that's just a bonus. Um, so yeah, super excited for him. And then the last guy I got is actually one of the holiday collection ones. And this is, I'm not going to take him too far out just because he is a dirty guy. Um, but it's this guy. So it is the Northern Lights one. And this one, I just thought it was kind of fun. It seemed interesting. The side supposedly fills up and then the inside is kind of like, gives that Northern Lights look. Um, and it has calming jasmine and ylang ylang. Ylang ylang, ylang isn't my favorite scent, but I really do like jasmine. So I'm excited to try it out and see what it's like. Um, so that's pretty much all of my lush ones that I got. So excited to try them and retry some of the ones that I've had before. Um, yeah. So that is all for my autumn haul. Hope you guys kind of thought it was interesting or found some new products you might want to try through the video. As well as please kind of like and subscribe and tell me some of the stuff that you've gotten recently as, to, as well as some of your favorite um, fall makeups or things to have in your kit for your makeup as well as what kind of teas and Lush products you want to try or you think I should try. I'm pretty new to both brands. I mean, I've gotten a couple things here and there for them, but I haven't really delved into it full heartedly yet. So please leave some comments below saying what kind of products I should try out. Um, I'd love to hear it. I always love trying new things. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.